well thank you for joining us here we want to solve this problem and for here let's use a letter to represent each term we have on the left we can say let a be equal to key root of x plus 28 and let b be equal to key root of x minus 28 such that what we have of can now be simply written as a minus b equals to 2. That is, we have this as a, then this as b. So that's a minus b equals to 2. We call it equation 1 here. Let's call that equation 1. And also, from here, in order to cancel this key root, let's introduce keep. And when we introduce keep on this side, we must also introduce keep raised to power 3 on this side. On this side now, keep we cancel keep root. Then what we have left here will now be a raised to power 3, that's a keep, equals to x plus 28. Then we can also do that here. When we raise this side to power 3, also we raise b to power 3. And what we have, keep cancel keep root. And then, we now have b raised to power 3 as well will be equal to x minus 28. Then let us form an equation here by subtracting these two expressions. So we can say we have a cube minus b cube. That's we have subtracted the left hand side. Then we subtracted the right hand side again. That will be x plus 28. Then minus x minus 28 and that minus will affect this minus that minus x plus 28 then when we write that we say we have this will give us now as a cube minus b cube we then give us x as cancel minus x then 28 plus 28 that will be 56 and let's call this one equation 2 here. Then we should recall from an identity that we have when a cube, a, when we have a cube minus b cube. This can be written as a minus b multiplied by a square plus a b plus b squared. And from there, we can substitute what we have already from the equation 1 and 2 we have a minus b from equation 1 to be 2 and we have a q minus b q to be 56 so a q minus b q here you can put it as 56 then equals to 2 times a square plus a b plus b square and here we can divide both sides by 2 when we divide this side by 2, we divide this side also by 2. 2 cancel 2 on this side. Then 2 goes in 56 here. We have 28. Therefore, we can equate this to 28 and say we have a cube, a square, rather, plus ab, plus b square, to be equals to 28. Then let's call this one equation 3 now. And also, we also have an identity that when we have let's recall that when we have a minus b or is part three and we expand this this will give us a raised to part three minus three a square b plus three a b squared then minus b cube so that's the expansion of this and then when we Rearrange. Let's rearrange on this side. So we have a minus b raised to power 3 to be equal to bring the power of 3 together. We have a key minus b key. Then let's factor what is common out here. We have 3 ab minus 3 ab out. Then what left here is a. Then what left here be minus b. So we have that. Then let's substitute what we have. 
our a minus b is the same thing as 2 from equation 1. So we can say this is 2 cube equals to then we have our a cube minus b cube from equation 2 that's 56 then 56 then minus 3ab we have 3ab then also our a minus b as well that's 2 then times 2 so by the time we simplify we have 8 2 cube is 8 equals to 56 then this gives us minus 6ab then when we solve this you know further we can say that 56 come here that will be 8 minus 56 and that's minus 48 so equals to minus 6ab now we can divide both sides by minus 6 so as to get ab and when we divide both sides by minus 6 we now have AB left here. That's AB now equals to minus 48 divided by minus 6. Of course, minus we cancel minus. And we now have 8. So therefore, let's call this one equation 4. Then let's go back to equation 3 now and bring it down. So from equation 3, we have A squared plus AB plus b squared equals to 28 so let's work with that now we have a squared plus ab plus b squared so we said it is equals to 28 this was our equation 3 then from there we can you know rearrange something here and say this is a squared plus b squared plus ab is equal to 28 and uh, we've already known our ab to be 8 from equation 4 so we can write this as a square plus b square then plus ab which is 8 equals to 28 then we can take our 8 to that side and subtract so that this becomes a square plus b square will now be equal to 20 minus 8 which is 20 so let's call this one another equation which is equation 5 here and also we should recall that we have an identity a plus b squared when we expand this this gives us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and from there, we can say that our a plus b squared now, when we rearrange this side, we have a squared, that's equals to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And from our equation 4 and 5, we know our ab from equation 4. And we know our a square plus b square from equation 5. And by the time we substitute, we can say that our a plus b all squared will be equal to a square plus b square. This gives us 20. So this gives us 20. Then plus 2 multiplied by our a b from equation 4 is 8. Then this will give us. From here we can see we have a plus b squared will then be equal to 2 times 8 that's 16 plus 20 this will give us 36 and we can get our a plus b when we take the square root of both sides and then this one gives us square root on this side and square root on this side will give us either plus or minus so that here square can cancel square root and we are going to be left with a plus b equals to plus or minus 6 plus or minus 6 so let's call this one equation 6 now we work with our equation 6 and equation 1 
and let's consider you know we have two cases here now either plus or minus so let's consider case one for case one now let's say when we have a plus b equals to six and let's bring our equation one you know together with this so that we can solve it and we have a minus b from equation one is equals to two and by the time we add these two equations in order to eliminate b and a plus a will be 2a so b has been eliminated 6 plus 2 that's 8 by the time we divide both sides by 2 we get the value of a here and a will be 4 so again let's substitute the value of a into any of this when we put a into any of this here now that will become we have from the first one we have 4 plus b equals to 6 so we can get our b and say our b will now be 6 minus 4 when we take 4 here and b is 2 so we have a equals to 4 and b equals to 2 from here then when we consider the second case as well that this case 2 now case 2 when we have a plus b equals to minus 6 a plus b equals to minus 6 as in from equation 6 here so that we can have we now have a plus b equals to minus 6 so use this one together with equation 1 and say a minus b equals to 2 so let's also solve this here now by adding so when we add we have 2a b has gone here then minus 6 plus 2 that's minus 4 and when we divide both sides by 2 we have a equals to minus 2 and substituting is minus 2 here to get b so our b will be minus 4 so this is another set of solution here now that we know the value of a and b we can recall that we represented our a and b you know with something when we started and we understand that our a cube is equal to x plus 28 from this you know second line and also our b cube is equal to x minus 28 now by the time we substitute the values of a that we got into this place and we substitute the value of b we got in this place we are going to see that we have the answer we desire and the answer here of course for both a and b we give us same thing so let's work with a now for the fourth value of a we have a to be 4 so if a is 4 from here so we have a is 4 for the first case here we have a is 4 and b is 2 so when we work let's work with when a is 4 so for a equals to 4 for a equals to 4 we have a cube that's 4 raised to power 3 equals to x plus 28 so 4 raised to power 3 same thing as 64 then equals to x plus 28 to get x just take 28 here and uh, we have 64 minus 28 that will give us 36 that therefore s equals to 36 for this you know case and uh, also we got a to be minus 2 so when a is minus 2 for a to be minus 2 for a to be minus 2 we substitute you know minus 2 into this equation here that is a k equals to x plus 26 we then have minus 2 raised to power 3 equals to x plus 28 and by the time we solve that we have minus 2 raised to power 3 is minus 8 and uh, equals to x plus 28 take plus 28 here is minus 28 so minus 8 minus 28 
to give us minus 36 and x equals to minus 36. So we discover that if we do that same thing for b and we substitute the two values of b, we are still going to get the same answer as 36 and minus 36. So this is the solution here. This is the value of x we are looking for. We say thank you for joining us in this class. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn the notification bell on for more of our videos. We say thank you for joining us and bye for now.